okay good day guys and you're welcome again to my channel and um, you are listening to the voice of your very own joshua the designer and i'm here to give you another amazing tutorial on autocad software and today i know that many of us might have encountered a very common problems of having our files running into fatal error having some of them deleted um by whatever means having some when our system our, our computer got off due to power supply we lost our documents due to whatever reason and then i'm here to show you how you can recover your autocad documents um while you are still worrying on how to start from the beginning you don't have to start from the beginning i'll show you how to recover your lost files on autocad software yes so i believe that there are many times that um we have been working and we encountered this problem or that you might have worked and you are just yet to finish then um something came up then you lost the whole drawings you don't have to baffle as i've come with a solution for you yes before i go on i would encourage you to use the like button and also subscribe to this channel this is a means of encouraging us to begin to give you um, more and more content and um, tutorials to make you better yes in case you are joining us for the first time i am joshua the designer okay now this is an autocad interface and um, we assume that this is um, a fresh page where we find ourselves after we might have lost our files on autocad then we are on a journey to retrieve the drawings or we are on a journey to get back those things <clears throat> pardon me those things that we have lost now this is what i have two ways i can go about it and i want you to pay attention i'll show you the two ways that you can retrieve your drawings on autocad okay so there is always a temporary file backup on autocad built together with the software so this automatically helps you keep a temporary file of all your drawings so you can find them there okay then how do we get there now by the time you right click your mouse you see options so by the time you click upon the options then you see a box as this now you go to files now by the time you look closely to the files then you scroll down you see something like the temporary drawing file location temporary drawing file location and as you can see it says specify the folders in which autocad should look for text fonts customization files plugins drawings to insert line types and hatch patterns that are not in the current folders okay so this is where we're going to by the time you open up these you see a directory it automatically provides for you a directory as you can see it provides for you a directory now this is the directory this directory is what we need at this stage so what i'm to do now is to find a way to copy this directory and um, use it to look for my drawing so what i do is just copy this now once you copy this you can close the dialog box you may you may close it then after you might have closed it having copied it then you open your your file explorer you open your file explorer now after that you might have opened the file explorer then you paste that copied directory you paste it without altering anything without deleting without adding anything so you just paste it there then you click your enter so by the time you click your enter it uh, automatically takes you to a folder or to a location where you can see different kind of stuff there and now you see that what you see here are folders or files that have been saved as temporary documents right so those times that you you have been working 
and working on AutoCAD or on other stuff and um, you were not mindful of saving on whatever it is then the software has been helping you to save some temporary file though i wouldn't advise you to always rely on this this is just a backup a means of saving saving you of too much of um, pain after you might have lost your drawings yeah so this is not built for um, helping you save your drawings only like majorly yes this is to help you just keep a backup of what you are working on so if you want to save correctly and you maybe you're one person that gets carried away with saving you just keep working and without saving i have a solution to that while you don't need to worry about saving or not saving i have a solution to that check out for my next tutorial i'll be dropping for you how to go about that that you can work upon your autocad and you don't need to worry about saving so that you don't lose under any condition will you lose any document okay now back to this now this is the folder where you can find um, the jobs that you've worked on that have been saved temporarily for you remember it's a temporary file location now i can see i can identify some of my jobs on autocad and according to his names this is one of my job build latest and um, i have church for structures i have gx state i have these also and now but you notice that these um files that i just pointed out for example this one it's not a dwg file but it is saved as bak dot bak which is a backup file for my dwg file now what i what i'm going to do now is to right click then copy this particular drawing from this folder so when i'm done copying then i can exit this list i may exit so i'm done copying then you come to your desktop you paste your document you paste it now after you might have pasted it you see that um, this is not showing it can't open it can't open did you see because it's a backup file so what you do now is to rename the extension by changing this dot bak to dot dwg so changing it to dot dwg automatically changes the drawing to an autocad so you see now it automatically changed now so by the time i right click it and i open it it says this drawing file requires recovery so what i'll do is just click recover so then you wait to see what you have after you might have recovered so don't forget also like the channel subscribe so that you can always get amazing content and make your engineering journey easy so you can see where some other people would have been worried about losing documents they might have now this is a document that is ready for printing already so assuming i lost this document at this stage i would have to start all over again did you see i would have to start all of this again but then because of i know a way of retrieving my drawings and my documents i don't have to panic i just have to go down to that place and fetch my drawings back and i'll be fine now thank you very much for hanging around don't forget to use the like button and subscribe to our channel share with your friends that should get better with engineering with software with everything that has to do with engineering and construction so we'll be here to give you everything that you need and um i would like to tell you that you can use your comment section use the comment section i'll be right there to answer to all of your questions as my goal is to make you better thank you i am joshua designer we we'll see the next tutorial bye